right, next comedian up, Dio Diogo Pereira. Thank you. Thank you. Before coming here, I was reading a news article about failed lab experiments. You want to know what is truly a failed lab experiment? I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. A failed lab experiment is to create a 24-year-old Portuguese male with the physique of an Ethiopian child, the skin tone and the teeth of Dracula, the armpits of a 37-year-old man, the left ear of an elf, and a toupee. How am I supposed to get a girlfriend? I look like an Ethiopian albino child. I used to have a beard, but I shaved it because I looked like Jesus Christ in a boys band. Can you applaud while I put my shirt back on, please? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I love people who exaggerate the pronunciation of every vowel in the word. Hey, Diojo, are you sick? Are you taking antibiotics? Are you Italian? Did you prioritize your itinerary, biatch? <laughs> These people treat language like it's, a, like it's a brand new pair of sneakers. Hey, look at my vocabulary. Look at my phonetics. My intonation. My prosody. <laughs> Have you heard women talk about men's bodies? They sound like they're in a butcher's talking about pieces of meat. Hey, look at that one. He got nice hands, nice calves, big, strong hands, thick lips. I feel like I'm a horse being auctioned. Because this one is quite healthy. Uh, not firm buttocks, uh, nice rump, still fertile. <laughs> you notice when rappers grow older and they start getting into acting in movies, they become ashamed of their rap name, so they try to hide it in quotes between their first and last names. So instead of Ja Rule, we have Jeffrey Ja Rule Atkins. <laughs> instead of 50 Cent, we have Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. What's the age limit for keeping a rap name, I wonder? They're gonna be, they're gonna be 70 and go, my name is Edward G. Hose Smack no Robinson III. I still smack hoes, but I enjoy a good game of dominoes. <laughs> Never looked at your own testicles. <laughs> There's no segue, really. Um, have you ever looked at your own testicles and watched them move by themselves? I have. In fact, I found it so fascinating that I immediately went to Google, just fully naked, and in search of a medical explanation, and immediately found thousands of men worried with their own testicles, leaving messages in medical forums like, Hi, I'm John from Cedar Rapids. <laughs> Sometimes my balls move by themselves. Should I be worried? And immediately comes the kind of sending doctor. Nonsense, John, don't be worried. Every man's balls move by themselves once in a while. Just make sure you don't have three. <laughs> so I did some research, and it seems like the unanimous medical explanation is that testicles move by themselves to maintain the right temperature for survival of the sperm. This is a medical explanation. This is what doctors think. What I think is that every time our testicles move by themselves, they are secretly planning their escape. Uh, I don't mean to sound nostalgic, but um, I miss growing up. When I grew up, there were three ways of contacting a human being at a distance. It was a phone number, an email, and an address. Beautiful. And people we didn't know came to us and asked us our phone number to call them back. Now, people come to us with those sad puppy dog eyes and say, You have Facebook, you have Failbook, you have YouTube, you have YouPoop, you have MySpace, you have MyPace, you have Spacemaker, you have Google Plus, you have Google Minus, you have Google Plus and or Minus, you have Gmail, you have Hemail, you have Shemail, you have Goodreads, you have Badreads, you have Blessed FM, you have First FM, you have LinkedIn, you have LinkedIn. Delicious, you have scrumptious, you have Tumblr, you have Twitter, you have Trunks, you have Quacks, you have Midget Muncher, you have Paper Faucet, you have Price on a Bucket, you have Sodomites on Wax, you have Gypsy Dungeon, you have Incest Party, 
you have pink testicles, you have L magicals petri dish, you have god bukaki, you have plywood fucker, you have piss factory, you have cock smack, you have ten skit, you have tech and tech, you have combo bitch. No, just call me. Just <laughs> One day, uh, I'd love to meet the man who does the voiceover for action video games. You know, the one who gives uh, compliments and warnings when you finish a level or you shoot a target with perfect accuracy in a really low robotic voice, like, Excellent. Impressive. Finish it. You have taken the lead. You have lost the lead. Does he talk like that in real life? You go up to him, Hey, how are you? Excellent. <laughs> He's in bed with someone. You have taken the lead. You have lost the lead. Finish it. Impressive. One day, I'd love to turn the tables on. I'd love to go to this man's funeral, get right next to the coffin and say, Your mission is a failure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> for Diogo, right? Let's do some maintenance once.